What's up everybody? It is Thursday, September 10th. So, early morning stock market gains were reversed. Pretty quickly actually. We opened strong, market reversed, and you know, it, it flirted with the unchanged level for a little while and then it just gave up and the selling hit later in the day and we closed down. So now you know this correction is still ongoing and looking at the tax flows once again you know I've been talking about that they're not getting any better they're not getting any better as a matter of fact the whole entire increase in corporation income tax flows that we saw since July when things started to open up and that was an indication that the economy was really starting to pick up and we saw corporation income taxes rise above last year all of that year over year increase is now pretty much gone so and it's been deteriorating now um, like for the last two weeks and th this was the signal you know last week I sent out or I made this video saying you know we're going into correction some people say, well, you're flipping around, you're flip-flopping, you said we were going up. No, because the data started to show that there was a slowdown in the economy. So we, we bought protection on the downside, I'm short the market, I'm making money on the downside. And the, um, the timing for this, or to know when we're going to hit a bottom point, because I think eventually we will, because there's still an unprecedented amount of fiscal stimulus. I mean, if you look at overall spending hitting a record every single day, if you're looking at the year over year increase in spending, again, a new record, even some modest acceleration, again, in the rate of growth of spending. I've seen all this like in the past week. So those are all positive things. So the money's flowing into the economy. So you might say, well, if the money's flowing into the economy, how come it's not manifesting in or how come we're seeing this uh, questionable situation with uh, corporation income tax which kind of implies a slowdown in sales and profits. People are like, I guess they're a little scared right now, a little frightened. I mean between the COVID and you know all the social unrest around the country and the election coming up, I mean it could be that people and businesses are just pulling back right now because of the uncertainty and that spending, where is it going? Well, it, it's going, it's flowing into personal savings. We'll probably see that, a big uptick in personal savings in the data. Uh, I'm sure we will, I mean, when they release it. So that's like potential energy sitting there on the sidelines. I mean, when people start to feel better, that money or uh, at least some of that money is going to be spent out. We'll get another burst of economic activity. But right now, you know, those corporation income tax flows are telling me that we're having a slowdown in the economy and that's why the stock market is going down. Now so you get into this risk off environment and in that environment you get your typical knee jerk reaction into the dollar okay they're, they're selling oil. By the way let me, let me mention something about oil because today we had the EIA weekly petroleum status report and you know, I've been talking about how the data was getting good. Um, it, it didn't look so good in this report. I mean, demand took a big hit. Gasoline demand took a big hit. Distillate demand took a big hit. Jet fuel demand took a big hit. Refiner inputs took a big hit. So where I thought that was going to be a one-week phenomenon because of the hurricane we had a couple of weeks ago, it shut down all the... Gulf Coast refineries and stuff like that, uh, that didn't bounce back. I mean, and we saw some big drops in demand and I'm starting to think that that is a reflection, another sign of a slowdown in the economy. So this, this stock market correction is going to continue. Uh, we'll have to see, you know, as soon as I start to see those corporation income tax flows start to pick up, you know, that's going to be a sign you want to start buying into the dip. Um, so that's, you know, that's where we are right now. Correction going to continue. You got to sell the rallies. And at some point, I think, you know, we got a lot of 
monetary firepower on the sidelines, and I'm not talking about the Fed, I'm talking about the fiscal being pumped in. So there's a lot of monetary firepower on the sidelines, which just, you know, whatever it is, people are a little cautious right now. Businesses are cautious. Uh, households are cautious in terms of spending. So it's, it's you know, that, that pullback is probably what's causing this. So, I mean, the, the concerns, the fears have got to lift somehow. People got to get confidence back. Maybe that comes after the election. Who knows? The election might just uh, exacerbate or intensify the uncertainty. I mean, I've been talking about this. I, you know, I spoke about it on my podcast uh, yesterday, if you listen to it. I mean, we might have a chaotic election result where, first of all, nobody knows the winner for three, four, five days, possibly. And then even that, it could be contested. And Trump might say he's not, uh, if he loses, he might say, uh, he's not um, going to concede. And then it can get crazy, man. It can get crazy. And that would just, I think, intensify the, the fear and uncertainty environment that we're seeming to get into right now. Or that what we have been in because of COVID. But now all these other things are coming into play with the social unrest and now the election. So, man, it could get crazy. So you want to know what to do. I mean, some of you are out of work. You're telling me you lost your job, and I feel for you, but what are you going to do? You're going to sit there and play the victim? I mean, learn how to, first of all, gain some knowledge, gain some insight, and learn how to put that to work. You have the markets out there that provide an opportunity for you to become independent, to make some money, at least make some side money while... Maybe you're still looking for a job, and we don't know when the job market environment is going to improve. Invest in yourself. Improve yourself. Gain some knowledge. Gain education. Gain information. Got to come to my service. Nobody else does what I do. This is MMT Applied to Trading and Investing. So go to my website now, pitbulleconomics.com. Sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. See everybody tomorrow. By the way, tomorrow is 9-11. Very somber day. We're going to remember 19 years ago what happened. I was down there uh, on Wall Street when that all went down. And it was, you know, I'll never forget that until the day I die. Unbelievable. All right, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.